Uh, this here is my aging iPod 5.5G, I think. Uh, and uh, the jiggly biff that's hanging out of it is the battery protection circuit board from the original battery. See, uh, if you're not familiar with these, uh, the original device is a battery that's about that size. It's completely tiny. This is a hard drive based player, and the runtime is like two hours. It's completely horrible. Uh, so, many years ago, when these were almost fancy, uh, I uh, just uh, took a couple of laptop cells and taped them to the back of it and I've been running it that way ever since and it's been absolutely great but these cells are probably from about 2003 and they've gone a bit sour, they don't work very well anymore. Uh, so I've cleaned everything up and we're going to be putting in these cells instead. So these are uh, roughly 2 ampere cells out of a HP laptop battery from uh, 2011 or 12 or so, uh, that one's got a bad cell and uh, these guys have been charging for a while. We've put uh, uh, about 3 amperes in them. It's going to cycle through that in a sec. There you go, 3.3 amperes have gone in them. Uh, as of now, they're about maybe 60% charge, last time I checked it was about 3.8 volts in them, so we should have decent capacity despite their age. Uh, so what we're going to do is just kind of tape them onto here and uh, turn this into a much nicer looking thing than it was with that thing piggybacked. It was all round and horrible and I'm f frankly amazed it hasn't caught fire yet. Right, I've now met, uh, routed the original battery cable uh, around the back of the iPod to make it uh, put the BMS roughly where I want it. So now uh, the next step is going to be basically just a double sided taping of uh, this uh, battery on there and uh, soldering the battery protection circuit straight on there. These leads are going to fit quite well. I'm going to have to put some extra capton tape there to make sure nothing shorts against any funny business along the edge of a battery and then we'll just wrap with a shit ton more capton tape and I think we'll be done. There we have it all soldered up and taped in place uh, on this particular uh, battery board for the iPod the uh, long lead is the negative uh, so as long as I did not screw those markings up uh, this thing should actually work now. It doesn't probably has to have a charger connected for a sec first. All right, here we go. Take two. And it seems to be alive. Let's see if it'll run off a new battery. Ta-da! Beautiful. Working like a treat. Not a bad package either. I don't mind this, so now all we need to do is uh, get a few extra turns of Capiton tape on this and uh, it'll be good to go. Okay, there we have uh, the pack all taped up and ready to go. So it's uh, adhered to the iPod with double sided tape on the underside, about 50% coverage, and we have some Capiton tape running pretty much all the way around, so uh, that's not going to be going anywhere. Uh, however, we have one thing left to do, or rather two. Uh, unlike the old cells, these are soft lithium polymer bags. These are not going to survive uh, in the environment they are going to be living in because they are going to get stabbed by something and go on fire. Uh, and the second thing is uh, the front panel uh, doesn't attach to anything. Uh, I've lost the screws long since, so if I just leave it like this, it's going to um, pop off and uh, disappear. Uh, so, for added style points, I have constructed from just a piece of aluminium a backplate. And I've taken the time to do a rather poor job engraving it as well. So. This is all nice and textured. Now that's just going to go on like so. And uh, I'm just going to tape this on, uh, wrap some Capiton tape around the front panel, and uh, this thing is going to be good to go. 
is that not a thing of pure beauty? And there we have the finished device. I love the trashy homebrew look of this. This is, oh, this is super good for me. It's an acquired taste, but yeah, I love it. And it should work. I never remember which button turns it on. There you go. One living 60 gigabyte iPod with a roughly 5 amp hour battery and a very rugged exterior. So, thank you for watching. Cheerio.